हेलो एवरी वन इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द प्रिडिक्टिव कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजी देर आर सर्टेन डिसएडवांटेजेस इन द प्रिडिक्टिव कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजी इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एडोप्टिव कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो वॉट हैपन्स इन प्रिडिक्टिव कंट्रोल सिस्टम दैट वी प्रिडिक्ट द प्रोसेस डायनामिक्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रीवियस इनपुट्स एंड द आउटपुट्स बट Prediction is not satisfactory due to unadjustable model parameters. That means, if your output is not reachable to the desired value, that means there is a certain error in unadjustable model parameters. So there is no adoption scheme in case of predictive control. You can. decide the model you can predict the process dynamics with the help of previous input and outputs but there is no unadjustable due to unadjustable model parameters there is a error in the predictive control so to overcome that error a new control system is there that is known as a adoptive control system or adoptive control scheme so certain certain types of adoptive mechanism is there to adjust the model parameters according to error in case of adaptive control system so the basic block diagram of adaptive control system is you can see here this is the basic block diagram of adaptive control system <coughs> in that if the error is coming you are having the adaptation mechanism if you are having adaptation mechanism that you can compensate the effect of unadjustable model parameter with the help of adoption mechanism okay and that that feedback that process is there that model predictive model is there that is already there but if you are following certain types of adoption adoption mechanism then you can compensate the error and avoid the disadvantages of unadjustable model parameter now this is the basic scheme of adaptive control system and this is the topology of adaptive control system now what this block includes this adaptation mechanism includes controller performance index and the adjustment rule there are certain type of adjustment rule we need to follow if certain types of disturbances are there in the uh, if our in process certain type of perturbations or disturbances are there if that disturbances effects are zero then predict to predictive we can adopt the we can use predictive control strategy but due to the if certain type of perturbations or disturbances are there in the process then we need to use certain type of adaptation mechanism and for that adaptation mechanism we need to design the rules for adaptation mechanism according to environmental conditions and the process parameters now after the rule is defined we can define the performance index of the controller then it will go to the controller so this is the whole picture of adaptive control system the adoption mechanism blocks includes adjustment rule for adopting or uh, overcome the disadvantages of and unadjustable model parameters performance index and the controller okay so this is the block diagram for basic topology for adaptive control scheme now we can define the adaptive control scheme in the two ways first is indirect adaptive control scheme and second is direct adaptive control scheme in indirect adaptive control scheme we use certain type of interaction in between the process output and in and defining the adjustment rule we use the estimators in case of indirect adaptive control scheme but in direct adaptive control scheme we don't use the estimator estimators so in indirect adaptive scheme estimator provides the indirect interaction between the process output and what are the if any disturbances are there or certain type of conditions are there so estimator provide the interaction between the adjustment rule and the process 
आउटपुट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एडोप्टिव कंट्रोल सिस्टम थैंक यू